Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have a rather special video because I've picked up one of my favourite Arsenal shirts of all time. You've probably seen by the title but this video is a review of the 2001 Arsenal Way shirt. Let's have a look at the shirt itself, how much I paid for it. Just take an overall look at that season. So as you guys can see from the thumbnail, I managed to pick up this absolute beauty of a shirt. One of the greatest football shirts of all time. One of the greatest Arsenal shirts of all time. If you disagree, you are completely incorrect. And yeah, let's have a have a look at the shirt, shall we? So this is of course the iconic Arsenal away shirt from 2001. And I managed to pick this bad boy up for £50 over on eBay, which is an incredible find, especially if you take into account that on vintage football shirts, one sold for the grand total of £198, which is absolutely bonkers. So yeah, as you can see guys though, ours, well mine, it's not your guys, it's technically mine, isn't it really? But as you can see, the sponsor is slightly damaged, there is a bit missing off the sake on you, but I don't care, I think it's lovely. You guys are probably asking me, Seb, Seb, if the shirt's so expensive, how did you get it so cheap? Well, children, I got it for cheap because, mainly of the time, it was bad at night. So originally, this shirt was uploaded by a seller on eBay for 69 99 But, like me, they are a bit of a night owl and they uploaded it at around 2 o'clock in the morning. So, me being cheeky in that, stuck a bid in for 50 smackaroonies and, to my surprise, honestly, to my surprise, I was really not expecting them to accept it but they did so got the shirt for 50 quid which I think is an absolute bargaroonie um, thinking about getting a name set for the shirt as well when I send it off to get the sponsor fixed to a guy called Shirtsmith over on Instagram he's currently fixing this Arsenal shirt for me um, so I'm gonna get this sent off what name do you think I should get on the shirt let me know down in the comments guys this shirt is iconic for certain reasons one it's bloody gold let's be honest gold shirts are sexy just like this Santi Cazorla shirt I own. But this one is iconic because Arsenal, back in the day, were one of the best teams on the planet and we rocked this shirt with pride. So this shirt is from the 2001 season and famously Arsenal won the double in that season with great iconic players like Lundberg, like Henri and like Dennis Bergkamp and Jeffers. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! In the limelight, Francis Jeffers obviously being the absolute GOAT of that list and that, that team unsurprisingly went on to win the double. They famously won the league by only losing three games all being at, at home and they also went on to win the FA Cup at the Millennium Stadium which is of course in Wales where they beat Chelsea 2-0 because they were building a new Wembley at the time. So you know why this shirt's iconic, it's just a combination of the fact that Arsenal were elite that season, Henri was on fire and also the shirt's bloody gold. So this shirt, because of that, is now fairly rare. It's one of the more expensive and rare pickups you can get for Arsenal shirts. So most Arsenal shirt collectors out there will be really happy to have this one. And I am really happy to pick it up. This was on the top of my list for picking up Arsenal shirts. And I was not even searching for it at the time. I just typed in Arsenal shirts and it popped up. And I was like, I've got to have it for that price. I have let go of the shirt in the past, seeing up online for sale for around 80 quid which I was gutted about and I should have bought it at the time, but it's good I held on really because I found this shirt for a lot cheaper. Obviously, there's that sponsor damage, but that can be fixed simply by sending it off to a dude who knows what he's doing. So overall, I think this shirt, as iconic it is, I don't think it's the best Arsenal shirt of all time. My favourite Arsenal shirt is, of course, the Arsenal home shirt that I showed in my last top five video. If you missed that, check out the channel. I'll try and link it in the description as well. Um, so that's my favourite Arsenal shirt of all time. But this is up there. It's definitely my top five Arsenal shirts of all time. So I'm really happy to pick it up. So overall, I'm going to rank this shirt a big smacking 9 out of 10. What a shirt. If you disagree, let me down in the comments. But you are wrong, so I will ignore you. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Obviously, jokes aside, please let me know down in the comments if you do like this shirt. If you're an Arsenal fan, also let me know what your favourite Arsenal shirt of all time is. And that is my most recent pickup, and I think it's a lovely shirt. I love the gold in combination with that navy blue. I think it juxtaposes really well, and you can't beat an iconic sponsor such as the Sega. It's a Sega sponsor. I think it's a big shame. I'd love if more teams did get sponsored by video game companies as someone who loves video games. I think this is amazing. I love the Dreamcast shirt. I need to get hold of that one as well. 
but you can't beat that Sega sponsorship. Unfortunately, obviously, a lot of these days, teams want more and more expensive shirt sponsors, and most video game companies can't compete with the likes of Emirates and Etihad. And companies like that, billion dollar companies, so they can't tend to afford to sponsor Premier League teams anymore, but I'd love to go back to the days where we had Sega. It's so iconic, such a lovely shirt, and yeah, that's my newest pickup. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please sub to the channel. That would be absolutely smashing. We're aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year. And if you could contribute to that, that would be amazing. But yeah, thank you guys for even just watching the video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you then. Peace out.